Part of the Eisenhower was closed for several hours as police tried to piece together what turned out to be a complicated and frightening morning. CBS 2's Mugu Odigwe explains. The expressway was shut down for more than six hours this morning. It reopened at 7.45. We've learned this incident started out as a carjacking in Lawndale and then ended with a deadly crash here on the Ike. You're looking at video right after the crash. A lot of flashing lights on the expressway. These are first responders and Illinois State Police. According to state police, this happened at 1239 this morning. They pulled over a reported stolen car near Ashland. There were at least two people in the car. We're hearing one was arrested. Another ran into traffic and was hit and killed by a car. Chicago police tell us last night at 11 in Lawndale, a 29 year old woman was approached by three guys who pointed a gun at her. She dropped her keys and they drove off with her car. It appears Illinois State Police later saw the same car and tried to stop it, which ended with one of the suspected carjackers getting killed by an oncoming car. Chicago police say they arrested a male juvenile in connection with the carjacking in Lawndale. We also saw this silver Chevy Impala on the expressway. It's the same one Chicago police say was stolen from the woman in Lawndale. They were friends and family members of the suspected carjacker out here earlier. They were angry that it took more than six hours to remove the body from the expressway. A woman was out here earlier as well. She tells us the body is that of her son, who is only 15 years old. Along the Ike, Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News.